Greetings, I am back from a week at St. Bino's. I did a little video the evening before I went, which wasn't great, but I hope it shared a bit about what St. Bino's is and gave a few photos. But in this video I've got some photos that I took, um, or some more photos that I took, and some video footage that will hopefully give a better idea of what it looks um, what it looks like around the grounds and the surrounding countryside or hills that I went walking in. Um, but the, my week was amazing. I was there for six full days and then a day of travelling either side. And it was really, I didn't have any sort of specific what did I want to get out of it because I thought well, I'd rather just get out of it whatever God wants to, to do in me or say in that week. But it, it turned out to be a really life-changing week. And um, it was really nice being... Um, kind of guided by someone who's a Jesuit themselves. I picked up some really good um, like suggestions for prayer f from them and it was really amazing to have that, to be able to speak to a spiritual guide every day for six days in a row. That made a real, that gave something that meeting with a spiritual director like once a month or once every few months can't give. As if like God could sort of take me on a very specific theme or a very specific journey over the week where it was a bit like um, a, a treasure hunt or something like that where, where each day there seemed to be a theme then that seemed to lead to this and that seemed to lead to this and um, I said in, uh, I'm not an expert at all in Ignatian spirituality, I said in my other video I made that I thought that praying with your feelings was a big part of of what they, of what Ignatian spirituality is about and it is, but I, I think I guess a better word is that praying with your imagination was was a big part of what I was encouraged to do while I was there. So um, a lot of what they do is they'll give you, they might suggest a Bible passage to you for you to to sit with. Then you ask the Holy Spirit to to um, guide your imagination, and then you you could enter into one of the the gospel stories, especially, and imagine which cap. Um, get, get a feel for, for which character you, you most identify with or or see what happens once you enter into the story like God might um, almost encourage you to explore what it's like being one of the characters in the story and then you just see what happens so even if it might depart from what the, the Bible text says but you have to trust that the Holy Spirit is guiding that so you might end up things might um, unfold in front of you in, in your imagination when you're imagining the scene that are slightly different from the the, the Bible text but that's because that's what God's um, God might be trying to show you something slightly different in your through your imagination or you might end up having an imaginary um, well I say an imaginary conversation with Jesus w within the scene that, that you're kind of praying with but at the same time that that, that may well be that God is leading your imagination so although it's a, an imaginary conversation it is actually what Jesus is saying to you in that prayer time so that makes sense um, maybe if, if you read um, Ignatian or Jesuit stuff on the internet I'm sure they can explain it a lot better than I can so that that was a big thing of what I was doing so quite often it might be scripture passages that I was given and what would happen was that each each day that the guide would get a feel for what kinds of things God was showing me or saying to me in the previous 24 hours and then suggest a scripture passage or two to pray with um, or they might say this seems to be um, an emotion that you're experiencing at the moment let's think what what Bible passage there is in the Old Testament or the New Testament um, where the story is about someone with that emotion and now and why don't you pray with that Bible passage and that will help you um, pray with, with how you're feeling at the moment in your situation so we do that sometimes or sometimes I was given pictures to pray with and um, there was a picture of Jesus with his hand on someone's head um, it was and um, I was told to imagine that I was the person that Jesus had um, his hand on so more to enter into that picture and use that picture as a basis for prayer and that was really powerful and then sometimes I was given poems to, to pray with or um, little kind of spiritual exercises like um, thinking about the experiencing the five senses, my five senses and how God speaks to me and has spoken to me 
all my life through through the five senses. So it was kind of it was a very like holistic approach to prayer that used senses a lot and emotions and imagination and also really encouraged you to um get in touch with what are your your deepest like desires or emotions like are you really nervous about something and why is that or particularly well, what is it that you most want to ask God for that that was a big question they really encourage you to um to explore and use as a starting point for your prayer so th those are the kinds of things that, that I was doing